Well, I want to take a step back here real fast. We talked a lot about your IWGP uh, World Championship shot this Sunday. But, man, yeah, you just wrapped up, uh, you know, unfortunately, your first AEW World title run here not long ago. Uh, when you look back on it, man, what, what do you think about your world title run? How, how do you feel about your own world title run? Uh, like with everything, there's good and bad. Um, but I think I learned some stuff, you know, about me, about wrestling. Uh, it's difficult. I never realized the pressure of being a world champion. And I mean, that might seem to someone watching, you know, like, oh, you defended it once every three or four weeks or whatever. How hard could that be? But just the pressure of, of having that championship um, and knowing that you'll have to do anything to hold on to it. Um, and as champion, that whatever you do should feel like the most important thing in the world because you are the champion. Like that's, that's a lot of pressure. Um, I don't know that I handled it the best out of anyone that's ever handled it, but it's my, my first time. Uh, I think it made me, you know, a better person, a better wrestler uh, in, a, in a lot of respects. Well, it, you got the title, man, right when a lot of big names were coming through the door that a lot of people got really excited about. You know, Punk, Brian, Cole, all those guys all right at the same time. I mean, did you get the reaction, I think, that you were expecting? Or did that? do you think all that stuff kind of threw off the mojo a little bit, that there were all these kind of bigger pieces floating around when that moment happened for you? You know, I wasn't really worried about anything anyone else was doing. Uh, I was worried about me. I was worried about, you know, being a better me the next day than I was that day. Um, and I did that. And I really wasn't concerned about anyone else. Um, well, you and Punk had some really unique chemistry. Um, that promo that you guys did uh, on the go home before the pay-per-view, I saw compared to like the Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart promos, where it was like some people were saying, maybe there's a little bit more truth, a little reality floating into what's going on here with these two guys. I mean, do you, do you genuinely feel a little bit of distance between Punk and, and some parts of the locker room? Is that something that, that you feel earnest about? Uh, probably not something I want to say a lot about. Yeah. Okay. I, I, th I think I've, well, like I said before, I think I was specific as I intended to be, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, uh, you know, beyond that, I mean, obviously you guys had the match at Double or Nothing. He got asked about, uh, not being able to execute the buckshot lariat uh, correctly. Um, what What's your reaction to to like th this like a big moment, right? And then it just doesn't click. Like, were you upset? Were you what? Well, like, how did you feel about that? Him not being able to quite hit that buckshot lariat move in that match. Uh, it made me feel better about myself that I can do it. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> uh, you know, like grabbing the ropes and flipping over like that and, and landing on your feet and hitting the guy in the face uh, is hard on any day at any time, uh, much less, you know, 20 minutes into a match. Uh, and I, I think that made me have a little bit more appreciation and uh, pride in, in the ability to do it. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that he couldn't, and that's not a knock on him uh, because it's a, it's a tough ass thing to do. And it's something I've done for a long time now. I've had time to sharpen it and he hasn't. So I don't know that I have the best uh, go to sleep in the world either. Certainly not as good as his uh, because he beat my ass with it. So I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, man, like so quickly thereafter, you know, he gets this. What was your reaction to him kind of going down right after the fact? You know, it's a very quick change of events, you know? Uh, Yeah, I didn't know that it happened uh, because I, I think I was there that Wednesday following the pay-per-view. But I ended up getting taken off the show Friday and I, I managed to get home, thankfully, because I had been gone for a while. Uh so I, I kind of didn't even know until the next week what was really even going on. Um, I hope him the best. I hope he's in uh, minimal discomfort and I hope he heals well. Yeah, for sure. And so then in the, in the wake of that, you know, there's the interim uh, AEW championship that's going to be decided the eliminator tournament. And uh, I think a lot of fans were surprised to see you kind of more in the IWGP world title mix, as opposed to back in the AEW world title mix. Uh, so shortly thereafter, uh, how do you feel about it? Well, uh, I had a match announced for that Dynamite, uh, and then later I think they announced the Battle Royal. Uh, so I couldn't get my way into this Battle Royal, uh, try as I might. Um, and I think it's typically been the, the story in AEW that, you know, I had my championship match. I had it the previous Sunday, and I lost. Um, so I'm, I'm out of contention for a bit. And 
that's fine. I'll, I'll do what it takes to get back there. If it wasn't the next week, that's fine. It took me three years to get there. Uh, I'm not going to be put off too much about waiting, you know, an extra month or two if it, if it takes it uh, to work my way back up to that chance. 